So good morning and welcome back. Today we're at Lamentations chapter 3 verses 4 to 6. Sometimes God has a hard prescription. Let's read those verses. He has aged my flesh and my skin and broken my bones. He has besieged me and surrounded me with bitterness and woe. He has set me in dark places like the dead of long ago. Sounds a little bit dramatic here, doesn't it? But again, you and I didn't live through this total collapse of the kingdom of Judah when the Babylonians were uh, brought in and sent most of what was left off to captivity or killed people right on the spot. Jeremiah saw all that and lived through it. So it says, he has aged my flesh and my skin. You know, being a prophet was pretty hard work. It's not something that's usually the first thing you sign up for. Trying to persuade sinners to turn to God when every last fiber of their being is like, no, 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 we're going to do our own thing. That's not for the faint of heart. And it's, it's even pretty rough for, the, for the, most, the most bold and courageous and leader-like people. I think, I think being a servant of God in, in this sense is top line, top line tough. Jeremiah did it, but he felt like he was just be aging and uh, his life was being whisked away very quickly into, into in a futile attempt. And yet it's not futile because God knows what he's doing. You know, Noah was a preacher, the Bible says, of righteousness and built on that ark for, I guess, 120 years and when he was done there, what did he have? He didn't even hardly have enough guys to swab the decks. But he was faithful, and that's the part that mattered. Jeremiah was faithful, even though he felt very alone, and he felt the condemnation upon the apostates. He felt some of that over unto himself as well. And he said, he, he God, he has aged my flesh and broken my bones. That's kind of a feeling that the true servant often has, even though that's not what God's doing. So he suffered quite a bit, but remember that another point to keep in mind is that it is a privilege to join in to the sufferings of God and of his people. It's a privilege. Uh, Jesus suffered. In fact, if you go all the way through the Bible from, from the first book to the last, there's a lot of material there about suffering. And Jeremiah knew some of that very much firsthand. And it's a privilege to suffer with Jesus. Read Romans 6 when you get a chance and see how we suffer with Jesus. We're baptized with Jesus into his death, and we're raised with him in newness of life. But there's, there's, there's some suffering pieces that go on there, and God calls us to that. And it's a privilege, although at the time you might feel, you might not feel so privileged. You might wish, this is a privilege. I could, could we just set this one aside, God? But no, this is, this is needful to bring, this, bring your heart closer to the Lord many times. So keep in mind that living among reluctant God followers, it's kind of tough sometimes. It's hard enough with our own hearts, our own wayward hearts that so often are wayward, but then we're trying to help others come along. And so it's all quite the challenge, but that's all right. If God is our leader, it's all right. Well, what lessons can we draw from this? Friend, keep in mind that we must be faithful. We will be rewarded in due course. Just don't worry about it. Just be faithful. You don't have to worry about being faithful for the next 30 years. What you need to do is be faithful for the next 30 seconds, right? Be faithful to God the next five minutes. Just keep on doing that, and you and I will be fine as we serve our Lord. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, help us to not lose courage. Help us to stay on even though we feel uh, abandoned or we feel alone or uh, hated on all sides. Lord, we know that you love your servants. And although we don't see that in ourselves, we don't see ourselves worthy of, of divine love, and yet you do. And so we're going to have to always defer to your judgment instead of our own. Thank you, Lord, for loving us. Thank you for rescuing us from the, the bottom of the barrel, Lord. Thank you that we can be part of your kingdom. Please bless each one hearing this devotional thought today. We ask for it in Jesus' name. Amen. So God be with you today, even if you have trouble seeing through to the other side. We're going to see that several times in this chapter. That's okay. We take our steps and put them in the footsteps going forward where Jesus has gone before us. and We'll be fine.